In this video I will go through why you should archive uh, your mails in Outlook. There are several reasons why you should do that. The first reason is to keep your inbox, inbox as small as possible because if it's small your Outlook also works faster and there is less chance for your inbox to become corrupt. Second reason for archiving is if you use IMAP protocol and I will come back to that if you use IMAP you will lose all your mails if you delete them from your webmail because in IMAP webmail and Outlook is a mirror that means that if you delete it one place it will be deleted another place. If you use POP you can delete your mails from your webmail without losing it in Outlook and the opposite. If you delete it in Outlook it will not delete it on your webmail. Before I start the archive I will demonstrate what I mean. Here I have my Outlook I have two accounts. How do I know if it's IMAP or POP? To find out, go to File, Account Settings, Account Settings. Here it will tell you the two accounts you have and you will see if it's an IMAP setup or POP setup. So as you can see here, my first email is an IMAP my second email is a pop. So now I will check my web. This email is an IMAP. I also have this in my, I, in my web mail and you see there's 148 messages. If I open it in web mail I also have 148 messages. What happens if I delete the mail from my web mail? If I do that I now have 147 mails here and it has been deleted. If I go back to my Outlook you see it has synchronized and it has also deleted it here. If I delete this mail from Outlook it's now been deleted. If I now go back to my web mail I think I have to click the synchronize first. If I go back to my web mail It has also been deleted here as soon as I synchronize it. So that's, that is the thing with IMAP. It's always a mirror. So if I delete all my web mail, I will also lose it in my Outlook. So that's the reason why you have to archive it before you delete on web mail. What about the other situation? Here I have my other account which is a POP account. I also have this in webmail. You can see here the last email is this Unify from today. So this is a pop account. I can delete it from my webmail. If I then go back to my Outlook it will never delete it. Whatever I do in the webmail will never affect my Outlook if you use pop. So, I can safely delete all my mails on my webmail if it is a pop account because I will still have them in my Outlook. Now, what happens if you want to delete mail from your webmail but it's an IMAP account? By now you know you cannot delete it without losing all your mails. This is why you have to archive your mails in Outlook before you delete them from your webmail. And I will show you how to do that now. So I will archive this folder. First of all go to File, go to Tools and go to clean up 
all items. Here you will say that you want to archive this folder and you can say I want to archive everything that is from before you can go six months back, you can go a half a year back, one year back, it depends on you. For this demonstration I will just say everything older than from 1st of May, put it into a different folder that is an archive folder. So I will just call it here. This is the name of the folder where it's going to store my mails. And you have to remember to leave the .pst in the end. The system will normally suggest a name. You can just keep that. I have just done it so many times that it has, uh, it has changed it. So this is the default. And as soon as I click OK, I have completed the action. So what has happened? When I now go back, here you can see I have got a new folder here called archives and suddenly my inbox is only 31 it was 147 where are all the other mails they are now in archive they are here so everything in archive is now safe so if I delete it from my webmail I still have my archive If I now go back to my webmail, you see this has changed. Everything I have moved to archive has been deleted from my webmail. So this is the reason why you have to archive your mails if you use the IMAP protocol.